Hello, it's Sarah, and I have a haul today. I got my package from Chasseurs Deluxe, and well, this is just some stuff that I picked up. Um, where was I? I think AC Moore on the way home um, from errands today. I got like these little trims are really cute. These are like a dollar, I think. I'm gonna be doing a baby book um, for my niece's teacher. And then these were, um, I, I used these on my uh, needle books. These are really cute. I like these flowers. I think there's a, like about $1.99, something like that. I need more bows. And then these were cool. These might have been like $1.99. Maybe these are cheaper. But I like these. And I think I might have ordered some similar ones. I forget. Oh, these were on clearance. Look at those honkers. I love those. Because, you know, I'm trying to get shabby chic. And I wanted to show you these two. Like, I might have shown these already, but I want to say it was um, Butterby Scraps. Oh, no. I don't remember. I made these a while ago, but I was digging through to see what kind of shabby chic um, um, embellishments I had. And look what I made. I made these. These are super cute. So I'm excited because I set up all my... Um, um, milk glass today and these I actually made um, I think it was Fiona did a tutorial on these and I'm not crazy about how they turned out I really wanted to try them though I had a bunch of pearls and then you just use these little um, like bead trims and for like um, flower centers I mean I'm not crazy about them though I don't think they turned out as I hoped but anyway I just put them in there all right so let's do this um, this came pretty quick once she shipped it. I mean, I didn't get notification that it shipped for a while, but um, then once it shipped, it got here fast. So I got three of these flowers. For the videos that I saw, like a lot of the DT members used these and loved them. So I thought, all right, well, I'll try them. And they're a little bigger than I thought they would be, but they're supposedly soft and um, yummy. They love them. And then I love these, and you get one, two, three, four, six of these. And they're just like, what is that material? Like chiffon or something? It's it's not tulle, but it's, and then they have that pearly bling in the center. So they're shabby. And then, I guess I'm just gonna start opening. I don't wanna take too long. But she wraps everything individually. Ooh. These are cute. So you can, this is kind of like an applique trim. So you can cut these apart. Like you can cut that rose out and then the leaves separately. Sorry, my nails are a mess. They're all breaking. And I mean, they're a mess. I've been kind of rough lately. But that is super pretty. I think she sells it by the yard. Yeah, that looks like about, um, yeah, about like one yard. That's pretty. I told you guys, I want to get... I just set up my, um, I told you, my milk glass downstairs, and I put, made a little shabby chic area. Ooh, I got this one, and this is more of a cream color, and I think this might have been in the design team um, packages. I was seeing a lot of people get this, and I like this because you can't, you can cut this apart, you can use the swirls, look at this, like, the edge is kind of like flowers. I don't, I should put my hand behind it. That is really pretty. I'm so excited. I have trims now. So I can start making shabby chic stuff. So I got those two. I guess I should use a different background when I do this so that it, you can see it better. So this one looks big. Ooh, it is. So I got... Some of this now what color is this Ooh, this is like the creamy color i really like the cream a lot this is beautiful oh my gosh look at that oh my gosh i don't really want to cut this apart but i think you could you still could use bits and pieces of it oh my god that is so pretty oh my gosh so that's my biggest one so pretty. And I have two more, I think. But then I got some from Gisela's store, too. So I might as well show them while I'm at it. Um, this, ooh, look at that. 
this is big flowers definitely cut them apart they're big I like that and that's the cream color again love it or it could just go down the center of something I want to do a box or something I'm gonna to have to look for um, I know you guys have made lace books or something like things to store your laces in that's what I have to make and um, figure out how to do because I tend to just throw everything in plastic bags and like I don't like that like when I was doing all my cheesy laces I don't mind but I don't want to do that with these laces let me see so this is I, this is my last lace Kirby stop that I got from um, oh wow and I mean I'm sure you guys have seen these all but oh my gosh you know what I lo loved about this I can cut this apart and look at all those little flowers even if I just cut like this in half and use that part as a whole and then just use these oh my god I hate to cut it but wow at least a portion of it I could cut apart oh my god so pretty so this is my Joe I'm filming this is my start then I got all that I mean look how pretty that's gonna go with it little ones all right then this is from Gisela's store I got this a while ago and I don't think I showed it um, I got this one so you know what I'm glad I didn't repeat any because I was a little nervous that I did I can cut those apart and I got like about a yard of that I got this jumbo one. Oh, her store is called lavish laces I forgot look at this one this is huge oh here's the front look how big and I've seen these before on other people's videos so I mean I know they're nothing new for you guys you shabby chic people but this is goodness to me this is I haven't had anything like this before and then I got this one I just saw this one on a share oh, I don't know who it was but she did a, a needle book it was a gorgeous needle book with like all lace and stuff it was so pretty I think she did it for Bonnie sassy sassy oh I don't know I can't I have no memory these little hearts I love can cut them apart too babe can you add milk to mine thank you this one actually I don't think I got this from Gisela's I think this is just some trim that I had um, on a roll I think I got that at like um, Hobby Lobby or something now Gisela sent me these I'm pretty sure um, no, just the middle one. These were some that I had on a roll that I was playing with, and I just put them because these are nicer. But they're not as soft as some of them. Some of these are so soft. This one, I I don't know. I must have ordered it, but I think or either that or she just sent it to me. I think I ordered it, and I used some of this already. I thought it kind of looked like a tray in the middle, like a tray. Okay, like that. And then this one again I think is just something that I had on a spool or a um, something that I got from AC work because it's definitely not as good quality like it's all kind of fraying and stuff but it's still really pretty all right so that's it you guys this is my shabbiness and I'm gonna be doing some shabby chic projects I can't wait I'm excited so um, thanks for watching